Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, AKA your favorite Cajun tech review, back with another video. Today's video, yes, I'm gonna unbox this iPhone 14 Pro Max on my channel. But before I do that, check this out. Okay everyone, so I'm back with another video. Do not adjust your screens, do not squint your eyes. You are seeing an iPhone 14 Pro Max in deep purple on my channel. Yes, I know, it's weird. But I wanted to try the iPhone out, so I decided to pick up the 14 Pro Max. It's in deep purple, I have 128 gigs. We'll get into more of the specs in a little bit later. But in this video, I'm gonna just do a quick unboxing, go over the specs, give y'all my first impressions of it, and let's do this. Again, nice presentation from Apple. If y'all wanna pause that, I don't know why, but let's say they have these little pull tabs to open the box. And yes, the box is not very, you know, we know we don't get much in the box anymore. Same thing as the iPhone 13, but let's see. Oh, okay, okay. Oh man, she's a big, look at that purple, y'all. I like that color. I don't know what y'all think about the size being like shiny. What if it was more of a matte finish like the back? But it has an Apple logo, look at the camera. Looks like a stove top or something in an RV. So you have designed by Apple. No longer need a physical SIM card. Well, we'll get into that in just a moment. You control people with your Apple stickers. You have your USB uh, C to the lightning charger in there. And that is pretty much all you get in the box itself. But look at this color. I love this color though. Android needs to come out with more colors like this. I don't know about the size being so shiny. I think this is stainless steel on the size. Don't quote me on that. But she she's a big phone. I had the iPhone 13 until I gave it to my son, but never had the Max before. Definitely a nice size phone. Oh, look at that. Dynamic island up there. But let's get into it. Let's go over the specs really quick. On the back, I know they updated the main camera. You have a 48 megapixel main shooter and then two 12 megapixel, I think, telephoto lens. On the front, you have a 12 megapixel shooter in a dynamic island up there which we'll talk more about in a different video. You can shoot 4K at 60 on this phone. No 8K, I don't know why. I did pick up the 128 gigs of storage. It has the new 816 chip, uh, Bionic chip in here. So it's gonna run smooth like Apple normally does. So you know, I'm not gonna expect any difference on there. It does have iOS 16 on here. Something new with the phone, it has always on display, which we might do like a little tip video on that. Again, the dynamic island up here has wireless charging. I mean, all the great features that you get on a phone and that you expect from Apple is on this phone. The biggest thing they talked about is this new island up here where you can get notifications, you can like do extensions on the apps. There's many different functions on there which looks pretty cool. On this side, you have your power button, volume rockers, and then like a notification slide, which is pretty dope, I like that. You have some antenna bands on here, which now you can use and talk to like satellite phones in case you're in an area where you don't have service. You have the lightning part down here, some microphones and a speaker. And then those microphone at the top. So again, it does not have a SIM card slot, so you have to do eSIM in the USA, 
What y'all think about that? That might be another discussion too, but let me pause the video real quick. I'm gonna put some information in here and let's get into it. Okay, everyone, so I'm back. I was able to set it up pretty quickly and I just want to give y'all my first impressions of it. Everything looks great. I love the purple. The cameras are big as heck. The boxy feel is okay to get used to. iOS seems smooth like you normally can do. I'm gonna download some apps on here. I just need to pop in my uh, SIM card. I mean, uh, I can't pop it in, huh? I'm gonna have to do the eSIM in just a moment. I don't wanna really mess around with that until I have some time. But overall, man, this is a big phone. The flat screen there, you do have some bezels though around the top and bottom, but that flat panel should be easy to put, you know, screen protectors on there. The only gripe so far is I do not like the shiny stainless steel pieces on the sides. I wish that was like a, almost, I wish it was like the same color here. But so far so good, I'm a, and I do, look at that lock screen too. I do like the like I do like the lock screen, so yes, it's pretty sweet. And the face ID works great too. So stay tuned to the channel. Yes, I'm gonna have some tips and tricks. Y'all let me know what y'all wanna see on this phone. I'm gonna play with this dynamic island a little bit more. I just wanna do a quick unboxing really quick and just show y'all an Android. 